All black matter Ain't got changing clothes Who got drunk Go to close that door All black matter Ain't got changing clothes Need no heat up, I place by my bed. All I got, keep me cherry red. Mmm, heat up, I place by my bed. Woman, I got, keep me cherry red. folks we're looking at hill country hill country blues in the style of uh, R.L. Burnside this week really cool tune called uh, Paul Blackmatic which you just heard a little bit of so I'm gonna break down um, the left and right hand techniques and some of the riffs that we use on the well that I played on my version that I took from R.L. Um, if you want to go over to YouTube and check out some of the various performances over the years by Mr. Burnside, you'll see how he, he plays it differently uh, depending on uh, where he's at. Uh, and uh, I think when he was younger, maybe a little bit more adventurous with the, with the arrangement. And when he was older, he just plowed through and kept it a bit more simple. So you can choose a way to play it that suits you. In essence, it's a very simple piece in terms of the music, the harmony, you know. On paper, it's simple. But actually in execution, it's quite difficult to play this stuff um, because it's all about the groove. I will try to show you how to get that groove established. I guess the first thing we need to do is establish, we're in open G tuning, all right? So uh, D, G, D, G, B, D. So if you've never put your guitar in open G tuning before, you're gonna leave your B and G string as normal. And a good idea to strum your, strum your D string and then you, you just drop down your high E to match that D. Drop your low E down to match the D drop your A string to match the G and that puts you in an open G chord like so. Sounds like the blues police. Okay so the first thing I'd like you to do is uh, get the root G string, not normally your A string, stick your thumb there, mute your palm on the bridge and just push down way to do this is hit the first one and then push through the second hit the third push through the fourth so it's going to give you a 2-4 kind of emphasis on the rhythm all right so it's going to create this effect and then you place your index finger on your B string first fret So let's break that down. Just kind of flick like that. You can go full tilt, like actually get that snare drum effect, but that's using a lot more energy in the arm, like so. I do do that sometimes. Uh, uh, it's just something that I <laughs> naturally do, but maybe I should minimize that movement because when you watch Burnside, his hands really just stay in there like that. It's very effortless. So a good thing to work on is just if we don't worry about what we're playing too much, maybe put your index finger where it should be and then just go. You're really muting here as well, yeah? Not this. Too powerful. If you want to emphasize that beat a little bit more, you just give a little push in the wrist, a little flick of the wrist as you flick the finger, you get a bit more out of it. Hammering on to the third fret there. One, two, three, four. And 
see there a little emphasis just by moving the index finger down to the B string here and brushing up or raising it up to the G string kind of a boogie effect subtle variation there already just using this very simple position okay so that's the essence of the verse he'll sing over that it'll be uh, oh black man ain't got changing clothes something like that and once he's sung a few lines whenever he decides to take a guitar break the first guitar break is going to be this move we're sliding up with this finger and we're pinching the bass okay so we're going to slide up here, and then we're going to flatten the index finger to catch that 7. That's your G7. Your root for G would be up here. Okay, we're not going to use that yet, but just so you know. Okay, so the first move is pinch and slide, thumb and index. And then I use my second finger on the high string. Okay. See how I catch that? Not letting it ring out. Catch it. Alright, and then you go back to the verse, just keep it in this position. Another little move he uses is that little pull-off sometimes. So I'll show you how you can employ those two ideas together. A little pull-off. All right. Add that in at your own discretion. It's a little bit more complicated to put all those things together. So just do it step by step until it feels natural. All right, on to the next riff. Um, as before. So one, two, three, four. Pinch with the thumb as well at the start. See that? So the more you practice the first exercise, just the more natural that little rhythm is going to slip in there. So if you practice underwater style and just play it real slow. All right. So. The thing to say about this tuning is you, you've dropped these two strings and you've dropped this high string here. But in the middle, these three strings are the same. So all of that stuff you already know is already there. But because we've down-tuned this high string, it means that our root note is here instead of here, right? So that then gives us this, what would normally be a D minor shape, but now we get a G. So that little pentatonic run from the root note up at the 8th fret, quarter tone bend, and then descend down what would normally be a D minor, and then pentatonic back to the root. And on the G string, the low G string. It's all good money. That's not necessarily what Burnside plays on this tune, it's just that's where those notes live, right? You can find your way around with that. Ok? Ok, 
Okay, another cool riff that he does in this tune is uh, similar to one of the others, but... Um... All right, so the slide as before, and then pull off on the high string, and then grab that G with the index finger, both sides, index finger, left hand, right hand. Finally, in one of my favourite versions of him in um, maybe sometime in the 1980s, it might have been recorded, he's playing acoustic guitar and he's there with a the famous harmonica player who played with Fred McDowell, a guy called Johnny Woods. And uh, Johnny's sitting there just kind of watching him in the corner. You can't really see him for most of the camera shot, but occasionally it pans over to see Johnny just digging it. And uh, he has little asides to, to RL. While he's singing the song, he'll shout over, Oh yeah, what happened next? Tell him about it. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so anyway, uh, he does this little breakdown where he kind of um, drops a lot of that rhythmic stuff out and he just does this pentatonic descending riff, so. Pinch to start, hit that high note with the middle finger here, and then the bass, and then you just alternate. And that should correct that so that during the verse we're pinching to get that riff, but on this one we're going to hit the bass first. So bass first, boom, and then you start your slide. Is the basics for Paul Blackmary. Please do go and check out RL Burnside playing himself. Watch his videos, get a feel for what he's doing. Take your time, practice hard. See you next week. Cheers, guys.